Hi again everybody. Welcome to the Perfect Storm YouTube channel. I want to go over something a little bit different today. I haven't talked about much on these videos. In, uh, in the Storm tool set we also have some math tools. We've done work with um, triangles, triangle math, frequency, and also uh, reciprocals. Those are three of the chapters in our book. Uh, this stuff gives you really quick and easy to do um, price and time projection calculations. So I want to show a couple things here today of uh, what this stuff's about. Uh, the first one is I, I did a projection from uh, the daily bar chart and we had that low come in on the 12th. We had a tied date on the 13th. The low came in a little bit early. We almost double bottomed on, th on the 13th, but we didn't quite get there. You can see here the uh, there's the low bar of the 12th. Using uh, triangle math and the reciprocal, that projects up to uh, at least a little bit of a tap today. So we should get some sort of a decent push down here, and we're, we're a little bit extended anyway without a, a reaction off of this three-day up move and we're also in uh, an important time zone right now so I want to show you that here's the Vedic chart as you can see we had these uh, overlapping windows on the A3 and the B1 panel here and we've got the bright green we also had the uh, A2 bright green window in the in there we had made a high at that time overnight we only got a small reaction and we made another high just past the end of the small white window on the a1 panel and then we got a, a three wave ABC push down market reverted back up made another swing into this timer right here and now we made a minor reaction and now we're pushing back up from some of the math I have resistance at 4454 we're about uh, 10 points away from that right now and what I'm looking for is the market to peak in this uh, white window here before we roll over that could come at uh, as early as the 708 time on this green block on the white panel I'm not going to give you the other timers today because the video is going to get to be too long if I do all that but I will make a couple other key points right here we're in this larger a3 window this bright green window so I do expect some kind of a decent reaction today in here and it's most likely going to come in this white window here this window is going to go till uh, 745 roughly but this could extend and we could get a high later in the day but I'm looking for that to come in somewhere in here so look at the other timers uh, that we have you can look at the rainbow you can look at the pH and the Cosmo and get the other timers fit in right here in this window this is where the most likely high of the day is going to come the one thing that I haven't talked about on the on these videos yet is frequency and uh, there's a chapter in the book on frequency and wavelength which is part of the law of vibration from WD GAN you can see that I have this red trend line on this chart And I'm going to give you a key measurement. It's 194 bars, trading bars. You can use this to measure uh, time or price. So I'm, on this example, I'm going to just measure time. I'm going to project yesterday's uh, swings forward here. So what I have, I've taken these sets of highs and lows from yesterday and overnight and I'm making four projections forward and that's these four vertical lines where my cursor is right here 619 where we're coming into now 
uh, about 658, 659, the 1012, and the 1121. The first projection is coming soon here in the white uh, black. The second projection also fall, almost falls in the green black on the A1 panel. And it's kind of funny that coincidentally the next two projections also fall in the next two um, timing blocks on the A1 panel. And these are derived from two totally different ideas. One of these is, you know, the green and white blocks are Vedic astrology and the uh, this time measurement is purely a frequency number. So this number that I'm giving you is a key measurement in the... Uh, S&P index it works. It's actually uh, 194.75. So this is something that you can use. You can measure swing tops and bottoms and use that forward uh, as a stick. And this is really good on the four minute chart because it's in sync with the uh, rotational degree movement of the earth. So I'm going to leave that there for today. Give you guys something you can use. Uh, there's a chapter in the book that goes through frequency and covers a good bit of that that goes uh, much beyond the scope of this video. It's just another really good tool that we have that I haven't talked about. So that's it for today. We'll come back on the weekend. We'll take a look at um, our daily bar time projections and then we'll see what the Astro Excel looks like as we move into next week.